when you're actually in work, um, you, you sort of look forward to the day when you can have time off work and you can have a holiday. But believe you me, when you actually find yourself out of work um, and it's forced upon you, basically, um, it's a horrible feeling. We're living in one of the most deprived areas uh, in Britain, if not Europe. Um, all the stats um, are appalling here and people come in often feeling quite de depressed, a sense of defeat. It must be an awful position to be in. I was out of work for nearly two years and I couldn't get a job no way. There's nothing, nothing at all. We're in a time, a difficult time, but there has to be hope at the end of the day and I, I think it's projects like Quest that give you know, give people hope and give, give the community hope again. You have to be positive. Quest very much fills in the gaps in the provision that's out there. We are unique in the way we utilise the skills of volunteers. It uses people's skills, it uses people's interests to move them forward from where they are towards employability. I think volunteering is a great way to get experience and skills that's needed to progress in something that you want to do. Good afternoon, you're listening to Mountain FM here with you. I realised when Carriad came here that uh, she had a lot of talent that was locked up uh, and it needed to be uh, used. Well, I don't mind not getting paid, I don't mind volunteering, as long as I gain the skills and the experience needed to maybe progress further. There isn't one kind of support that, pe that people who come to us need and we do very much work on an individual basis. It's very much about listening to what people want um, and building those learning opportunities around that so that they come away with the skills that make them ready for the workplace. I went, out, went straight from school into college to A-levels and after A-levels I got a job doing admin, that, that was temporary work. Then I got another job doing admin and accounts in a company that went into liquidation and from that point I've been unemployed ever since, about two and a half years now. Neil came to us when he was really at quite a low ebb. He's been applying for jobs for a long period of time and it got really despondent. We're not hearing back off employers. Um, it, you, you do get confidence knocks, but you've just got to get on with it. But volunteering, you still, you know you're with people in the same situation, so you feed off them as well. You just got to keep positive about it. He does um, workshops with other participants and volunteers, helping them to gain the skills they want on the computer to encourage them to go on and then get qualifications. He also gives his time to the Disability Advice Project to help them, to help people in the community. Even if it's just for a couple of hours a week, you're still doing getting back into a working routine. So you get getting your confidence back and you're meeting new people all the time. When you get people together to do anything, they share experiences, they share knowledge, and they start to build their own networks, and that's a very important part of what Quest does. I was at the point where I thought I was never going to work ever again. Um, and I don't know, there was just something in me, there was some little determination there, you know, some sort of motivation to say, well, no, you know, you, you've got to really get out of this because it, it's it's such an awful position to be in. You know, you, you're really in a position of you know, there's so much despair, there's so much um, unhappiness around you. It's just all doom and gloom, and and you have to do something, you know, to to make it positive. Sandra is a volunteer who has tremendous skills 
she comes from a, an adult guidance background. She sits and does CVs with people. I go into A3 one day a week. I tend to get, get there for about 10 o'clock and then finish when they close. We're giving our volunteers the skills in order to help themselves, but also to help the people they come into contact with. Oh, it, it, it's a lovely feeling to be able to be in, be able to help other people now. Um, you know, I, I go into A3 in the morning and I know I'm going to be seeing people who need my help, who, who, who will benefit from my help. When I'm actually writing their pro profiles on their CV and they think, well, you're writing about me, you know, and I say, yeah, that's you, you know, and you can do it. When I first came to Quest, um, we sat and we had a chat about my life and where I wanted it to change. And I really did want to change. I wanted something for, for myself. Natalie is an invaluable volunteer. She's got a lot of challenges within her life. She has a daughter with quite a severe disability. Um, and she'd lost her identity. I felt stuck in my life. I felt, although I wanted more than anything to be a mum, when I was that mum, I was never completely happy. She wouldn't um, tell you herself, but that the work that she does with our participant who is as a part-time tutor to enable her to carry on working is tremendous. The first day I went it was absolutely nerve-wracking. I can't tell you. It's it's it was really hard to to even go in the lift up to the room. Well, I went in and I did that class and never looked back. Never looked back. In the heart of the South Wales Valleys. Without organisations like Quest, um, we wouldn't either have the time or the skill to be able to find these people. Um, it is a specialised job uh, and it is another link in the chain. I feel better with myself because I, I used to struggle to bed up at one, two o'clock in the afternoon and then do nothing. But now like I'm getting up, even though I ain't getting up early in the morning, but like you get up and you come here and you do your work and is give you a reason really in life. I find doing all this keeps me sane if you like, it keeps me as I'm still Natalie at the end of the day. I was out of work for such a long time and if, if something like Quest had been around then I'm sure it wouldn't have taken me as long to, to recover you know from the situation I was in being, being unemployed for such a long time. Without Quest I'd probably be stuck in a rut just applying for jobs, making the same mistakes I was making, I would, my confidence would still be low. I'd still be stuck in the house doing not a lot, just applying for other jobs and hoping for the best. I, I never thought to myself that I'd work in a radio station, but like you I am. It's, I, it's unbelievable. I'm usually the last one out through the do door at the end of the day. When they're locking up the building, I'm walking out with the manager, you know. But that, that's great, that's lovely, you know, the fact that I'm there and I'm, I'm, I'm needed and, and I'm, I'm doing something of value. From the very beginning, it's about seeing them come back through the door <laughs> um, and then watching them on their learning journey and the success stories at the end of it and, and what they go on to achieve. It's, it's what it's all about. It'll give you a good feeling because you're doing something for the community as well. It's just good, really good. Quest will leave a sustainable legacy through the volunteers that we've involved, that they will carry on passing that knowledge and experience back into their communities. I was sort of at a point where I needed all that sort of help. But now I'm back in a position where I'm able to give some help, which is, is wonderful. Mm -hmm.